He is known for inventing the first electronic digital computer. He is recognized for resolving challenges to his claim through the Honeywell vs. Sperry Rand lawsuit. His name is John Vincent Atanasoff. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out as a pioneer in the world of computers, John Vincent Atanasoff. Born in New York in 1903, Atanasoff's fascination with electronics and mathematics would shape the course of his life. It was in the 1930s, during his time at Iowa State College, that Atanasoff made a groundbreaking invention that would change the world forever, the first electronic digital computer. Atanasoff's invention was a special-purpose machine known as the Atanasoff Berry Computer, or ABC for short. It utilized electronic switches to perform calculations and solve complex mathematical problems. This revolutionary device laid the foundation for modern computing as we know it today. Atanasoff's vision and ingenuity were instrumental in creating the blueprint for future computer systems. Despite facing challenges and skepticism, Atanasoff's claim as the inventor of the computer was ultimately vindicated in 1973. The Honeywell vs. Sperry Rand lawsuit ruled in his favor, solidifying his place in history. His invention not only sparked a technological revolution but also paved the way for countless advancements in science, engineering, and business. John Vincent Atanasoff's legacy as a trailblazer in the field of computer science serves as a reminder of the power of human innovation. His groundbreaking work opened doors to a world of infinite possibilities, propelling humanity into a new era of technology. Today, we owe much of our digital landscape to Atanasoff's unwavering determination and his pioneering spirit. In the 1930s, Atanasoff, a brilliant scientist and professor at Iowa State, was faced with the tedious task of using the mechanical Monroe calculator for his doctoral thesis. The limitations of this tool sparked his curiosity to find faster methods of computation. He began researching the use of slaved Monroe calculators and IBM tabulators for scientific problems, exploring ways to control the Monroe using the output of an IBM machine. During this time, Atanasoff also invented an analog calculator for analyzing surface geometry. However, he quickly realized that gears had their limitations and that digital solutions could offer greater accuracy. This realization pushed him to push the boundaries and explore new possibilities. With a grant of $650 and the help of his graduate student Clifford Berry, Atanasoff set out to create a groundbreaking invention. By November 1939, they had successfully prototyped the Atanasoff Berry computer, ABC. Atanasoff recalled that many of the operative principles of the ABC came to him during a drive to Rock Island, Illinois in the winter of 1938. The ABC incorporated key ideas such as binary math and Boolean logic, allowing it to solve up to 29 simultaneous linear equations. It was an electronic device that utilized vacuum tubes for digital computation, marking a significant departure from mechanical calculators. Additionally, the ABC featured regenerative capacitor memory, a concept similar to the dynamic random access memory DRAM, used in modern computers. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.